Errors and uncertainties are a big part of scientific research and you'll always have to deal with them whenever you're uh, working. A lot of words to learn today. Anomalies, systematic errors, random errors, measurement errors such as parallax and uncertainty. An anomalous result is one that doesn't fit the pattern. It just looks a little bit out of place when you plot graphs or when you look at a table you have a number that's really strange. Here's an analogy. If you had a classroom of students here and you're asking them all their ages, they're all going to be about the same age. Well, most of them. This fellow at the front says he's twenty. Uh, so he says he's forty-seven. So what would you normally do there? Either it's a complete. Uh, if it's the truth that that happens to be um, what age he is, which is unlikely by the looks of him, you would have two options. You can remove him from the data before calculating your mean. Just get rid of him, and then that brings the average of the class age back down. So uh, reducing the random errors there. The other option is just repeat the test. Maybe he is actually 12, he just uh, said something wrong or you misheard him. So two options for anomalies, remove them or repeat the test for that value. Not the entire test, just for that value. A systematic error is one that differs from the true value by the same amount every time. And you can get them all the time. So let's say you're target shooting an archery. And it's a windy day. Even if your aim is perfect, you might be landing in the blue circle rather than the uh, yellow circle there just because of the wind. There'd be a systematic error. So you'd want to try and reduce that. Uh, this meter stick here looks normal at first, first looks, but if you look down towards the bottom of the meter stick, the end of it is worn away as they're prone to do. and actually starts at four millimeters. So all your measurements made with that, uh, that, that meter rule would be four millimeters out. Random errors are um, ones that you cannot do anything about. Every time you measure something, it's very rare you always get the same value in science. Uh, they happen in an unpredictable way and they, they mean there is an inaccuracy there. So we already talked about this in video four, I think it was, and we can reduce the effects of random errors by uh, re removing the anomalies and calculating a mean. So an example of parallax error, depending on what angle you are at when you read the uh, measuring cylinder here, you're going to get a different value unless you're dead level with the level of the water. It's quite easy to make mistakes that way. Here's some readings, and if you look carefully, you'll spot there's a weird result there, an anomaly. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that anomaly, Take a mean by adding up all the results and dividing them by the number of results, and that should give us an answer that's um, more accurate, less effects of random errors there. Uncertainty is um, how, sure, how close you are to the true value, and it's usually denoted with that symbol, the plus minus. Take Brad Pitt. If you were to guess how old he is, I don't know, I might say he's 55 years old, plus minus three years. That means he could be 52, he could be 58. If you were measuring the Burj, uh, the height of the Burj Khalifa, uh, I guess I would say that's about 850 meters plus minus 20 meters. So that is what uncertainty is. It's a, a range of where you can expect to get the right answer.